Our aim is to study about urinary system using chart and models. Urinary system, as you can see in the diagram, it consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, one urinary bladder and urethra. The functions of urinary system is to produce urine. Hence, it helps in maintaining electrolyte balance, water balance and acid base balance of the body. Also, kidneys, they secrete a hormone that is known as erythropoietin, which helps in production of red blood cells. One main function of the urinary system is excretion of waste materials. Now let us discuss about urinary system using this beautiful model which is made by our students. As I discussed before, urinary system, it has the following parts, a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, one urinary bladder followed by urethra. Now let us discuss about each part one by one. First, let us focus on kidney. Kidney, it is generally divided into two parts. The outer portion, it is known as renal cortex and the inner portion, it is known as renal medulla. Here, the outer portion, it is shown by this red color and the skin color, it shows renal medulla. Now, in renal medulla, there are distinct features. First, renal medulla, in renal medulla, there are pyramids, pyramid-like structures. And they are known as renal pyramids. Renal pyramids, then, as you can see over here, they lead to minor calyx. The junction of the apex of renal pyramid and minor calyx is known as renal papilla. It is depicted over here. Then, when urine is formed, it is passed into minor calyx. Minor calyx then merge to form major calyx. And then, major calyx is followed by this renal pelvis. From renal pelvis, there is another structure which originates, which is called ureter. Ureters and this renal artery and vein, they enter into the kidney through a common structure, in, through a common opening, which is known as renal hilum. Now let us discuss that how the urine is passed from the kidneys to outside. Urine, it is formed by the functional units of kidney, which are known as nephrons. There are about 1 million nephrons in each of the kidney. Then, when a, when a certain amount of urine is formed by nephron, it is passed to ureters. And ureters, they, they extend from renal pelvis to urinary bladder. As you can see over here, these ureters, they enter this urinary bladder in an oblique fashion. This prevents the backflow of urine. And the urine, it passes from the kidneys to urinary bladder via ureter by the process of peristalsis. Now let us see what are the main features of urinary bladder. Urinary bladder, when it has, it is full, that is when the urine that is collected over here is about 400 to 500 ml. Then after the nerve signals, they give it a command, it contracts. And because of contraction, 
they need the action of muscles. The urinary bladder, it is composed of four layers. Starting from the inside, the innermost layer is mucosa, followed by submucosa, then muscularis, and the outermost layer is known as adventitia. The muscularis layer is composed of muscles which are named as detrusor muscles. When the urinary bladder, it contracts the muscles of the urinary bladder, when they contract, they pass this urine through the urethra to outside. So the ending of urethra is known as urethral opening or urethral orifice. Here there are two sphincters. The sphincter which is located between urethra and the urinary bladder is internal urethral sphincter. And there is external urethral sphincter too. The difference between internal urethral sphincter and external urethral sphincter is the internal urethral sphincter is composed of smooth muscles and is involuntary. But the external urethral sphincter, it is composed of skeletal muscles and is voluntary. Therefore, a person can control the outflow of urine according to his or her will. This was the overview of urinary system. I hope that I helped you in your study. Thank you.